Hello, welcome to my video on configuring Plex when you have a sonic wall or any other more business grade firewall router combo. Um, oftentimes people who have these, whether they someone else in their house installed it or they have it uh, themselves, will notice services like Plex don't work, um, at least not fully work. The reason for this is Plex is more designed for home users. Uh, it uses a, a feature called UPnP, which is Universal Plug and Play. Similar to if you were to plug in a mouse or keyboard, you should expect Windows to recognize it right away. UPnP actually does that same thing, only it does it on a networking level. So it tells your router, you know, open these ports, allow these things to speak with each other. And that's fine for most people if you have a Time Warner Charter router at home, it will listen to that. But when you have a Sonic Wall or a Cisco firewall or any other major one, they don't allow for things like that or it could cause very serious issues at, com at companies. So you will uh, install Plex and you'll notice that you can watch the videos locally, but let's say you use the app or you log in remotely. Um, you won't be able to access your videos from outside of your computer where they're stored. Uh, this uh, tutorial will show you how to fix that. Uh, first of all, you'll notice up here, localhost 32400. Localhost is your computer, and so you can always access this port yourself on your computer. Um, what you need to do is now allow the outside world to communicate to your computer on that port, which is the port that Plex uses. So from your sonic wall, we're first going to go to firewall and then service objects. Custom service, custom services right up here. And uh, you can ignore all the other ones I have. This is the one that you're going to want to create. And the settings for it are fairly simple. Name, um, name it whatever you want, but I named it what the what port it is what protocol it's using, as well as why I'm creating it. You're going to select TCP from the list, and you're going to put 32400 to 32400, and then hit OK. I'm then going to go to Access Rules, Matrix, from WAN to LAN. That is from the outside the world through your modem to your local area network. You're going to create a new rule, so add. Now I've already got one created, so I'm going to actually just show you that here. And WAN and LAN should auto populate on the sonic wall. If they don't, um, you can enter them manually, but you probably should fix that because that's weird. Source port is any. Service, you're going to go in your list and find the one you just created Plex TCP port 32400. Any, next, any, next, all users. Now you can fine tune this more detailed if you want, but this is a more of a general one. And then you can in here put a comment if you want. And then you hit OK. Now as long as you don't have anything else interfering, that should be all you need to do. You should now be able to access Plex remotely from the Plex server you have hosted here on your, uh, your home computer. Now, if you want, you could fine-tune this more to be specific to a specific computer so that people could, the, from outside could only access uh, port 30 to 400 on an individual computer, which would be your Plex server. But I will go into that in a more detailed video later.